Welcome back students. In this video, we'll be doing question number three and four. So this is given, okay? We are up, uh, asked to obtain all the zeros of mm, this given equation if two of its zeros are root over 5 by 3 and minus 5 by 3. So first thing, a given equation is, okay, we're given, our given equation is going to be 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cubed minus 2x squared minus 10x minus 5 but what is also given that two of its zeros are so x is root of 5 by 3 the other x is equal to minus of root 5 by 3 right because i think by now you understand what zero means so therefore what i'll do here is i'll write this as x to the power 5 by 3 equal to 0 and x plus root 5 by 3 equal to 0 okay and I'll write this as my equation 1 and equation number 2. Therefore, when you multiply equation 1 and 2, we shall get this x minus root 5 by 3 into x plus root 5 by 3 equal to 0. So when you multiply that, you carefully look at this. Is this not in the form of a minus b, a plus b? So a minus b, a plus b is the form a square minus b square. Okay. If you do not remember this, you just multiply both. Okay. X into x plus three, uh, x plus root five minus three, minus root five by three into x plus three. But I'll go with this. Okay. So a square minus b square. So I can write this as x square minus root five by three, the whole thing square. Okay. Equal to zero. So this becomes x squared minus 5 by 3. Okay. Now let me take the LCM for this. So this will become 3x squared minus 5 by 3 equal to 0. And this is 3x squared minus 5 equal to 0. Okay, Because 3 will go to this other side. So now our zeros, okay, this is still correct. This is, this is a polynomial. Okay, This is our polynomial. Uh, this is the polynomial because as a result of which we, we got our zeros as 5 by 3 and minus 5 by 3. So this is a factor of, this is again one of the factor of 3x to the power 4 plus the given equation, okay. Therefore, what we can do, okay, remember what, what we can do if supposed 3x squared minus 5 minus 5 is a factor of this given equation, then we can always divide 3, okay, 3x4 plus, it's a repetition again, but it's, we can always divide this given equation with, we can divide with by, I'll write by x, 3x squared minus 5, okay, because the question is we're asked to obtain all these zeros, right, 3x squared minus 5, we can divide this, okay, because 3x squared minus 5 is a factor of this, and how do we do, we, we have followed this procedure, it's given that the zeros are 5 by 3 and minus 5 by 3, one more question is, uh, one more, I forgot thing, uh, something that is very important is, what is the, what is the degree of this polynomial, it's to the power 4, right, that means this given polynomial or you can just say this given equation will have how many zeros four zeros all right so if it's the equation is like this then this given poly variable what, what's the degree of this polynomial is two that means two zeros if it's three or like something an equation like this then it will have three zeros okay with the highest degree that it uh, the, the highest degree of the given polynomial determines the zeros uh, that a given polynomial will also have okay so here the power, the degree is 4, so that means there are going to be 4 zeros. We already know 2 zeros, we, are, we have to find the remaining 2 zeros, alright? So let us divide this, okay? Mm. So I'll just erase all of this. So we will divide, we got this as 3x squared minus 5 and divide it with 3x to the power 4 plus 6x cubed minus 2x squared minus 10 minus 5. Okay, so let's just divide the screen. So what should you multiply 3x squared with in order to get 3 to the power, 3x to the power 4? Obviously x squared, right? So this becomes 3x squared into x squared becomes 3x to the power 4. Minus 5 into x squared becomes minus 5x squared. All right? Okay, so this becomes plus and minus. Okay, see, remember, subtraction can only happen when the variable, they have the same degree, okay? You cannot subtract 
six, uh, plus six x cube minus three uh, x to the power four. Okay, the the degrees are different, so you cannot. Only if it's same. Okay, here x to the power four, x to the power four, it's same. You can do that. Okay, so because of that, I have adjusted here minus five uh, into x squared. Supposed to be written over here, right? In the actual sense, but I have not written here because the power is different. This is x cubed and this is x squared alone. That's why nothing will happen to this. Okay, the sign will not change. Bring it down. This is minus. It will change. So to to plus. So minus two x squared plus five x squared becomes plus three x squared. This is ten x. Okay, not just ten. Ten x minus ten x minus five. So what should the next thing is this? Uh, this is a plus sign. So what should you multiply three x squared to get six x cubed? So you should multiply it with two x. Right. 3 into 2 gives you 6, x squared into x gives you x cubed, okay, minus, okay, put there, uh, minus 5 into 2 will give you minus 10x, alright, see, the arrangement I have there, this is x and x, so I have brought it to one side, I have not written my minus 10 over here, okay, so this will become, this will cancel, this will also cancel, so you are finally left with 3x cubed minus 5, so what should you multiply 3x squared with in order to get 3x squared? You just have to multiply it with 1 and the sign is plus over here, right? So just plus sign. So 3x squared into 1 gives you 3x squared. Minus 5 into 1 will give you minus 5. So this is 0. Therefore, x squared plus 2x plus 1 is a factor. Okay, it's, it's the factor. So it's, um, okay, but this is not complete. We're asked to find the zeros, okay? All right, we're asked to find the zeros. So, since we're asked to find the zeros, we shall, so now you can write this, x squared plus 2x plus 1, what equation is this? Is a quadratic polynomial, yes, polynomial, remember what a quadratic polynomial is, okay, even if you don't remember the rest, please remember quadratic polynomial, so hence we can use, we can use, uh, we can use splitting the middle terms, Okay, splitting the middle terms, okay, but not necessary for this, splitting the middle terms, okay. Here, in order to save time, if you, you just think about it, instead of using the splitting the middle terms, if you want, you can always use it, but, okay, first we'll use it, okay. So, uh, splitting the middle terms, what should you, so, the coefficient of x squared is 1, and the constant term is 1, so 1 into 1 gives you 1, right. So, this number when you multiply okay when you add it you should get it as two and when you multiply these two numbers you should get it as one right one because you have to multiply the coefficient of x squared with a constant term so one into one gives you one so obviously the answer is going to be one yes so you get this as one plus one of x plus one okay so you just remove the bracket so plus x plus x plus 1. You take the common terms over these two terms. So x is common. So you'll be left with x plus 1. Over here, x and between x and 1, there's no common term. So it's just going to be 1. So you finally have this as x plus 1 is common to both terms. Okay, so I've taken x plus 1, x plus 1. So if I take out x plus 1 from here, I'll be left with x. And there's a plus sign over here. And since I've taken out x plus 1, 1 is common. Therefore, x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. So x will be equal to minus 1. x will be equal to minus 1. Therefore, the remaining zeros, okay, the remaining zeros are minus 1 and again minus 1. All right? Okay. Over here, for this problem, you don't necessarily have to use the splitting terms, okay? There's uh, because remember x squared plus two x plus one is the same thing as x plus one the whole thing squared. Do you agree with me or not? Because what is a plus b the whole thing square formula? It is a square plus b square plus two a b, right? So let us focus on this, okay? So what is a square a in the case of this? So it's going to be x squared plus b square one square plus two. What is your a? X into b is what? So x squared plus 1 plus 2x. So that's the same formula as this, right? So you can directly write it as x plus 1 the whole thing. Okay? x plus 1 the whole thing squared equal to 0. Okay? Okay, never mind. So, alright? So you can always write it this way. So you can write x plus 1 into x plus 1. And that will be your factors. Okay? 
So you can just go with this, split the middle terms. So these are the two zeros, clear? So quickly, let's go on to this question. Okay, so this is given on dividing this polynomial, the equation, the remainder where? Now, what, what should you remember from here? The dividend is, what is the dividend? x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus 2. Okay, I'm just going to write this. The remainder is given, you just try to write down what is given, x minus 2, and the quotient, okay? Uh, okay, sorry, okay, this is the quotient, not equation, okay? So, quotient is actually x minus 2 and um, remainder is minus 2x plus 4, okay? We are asked to find g of x, okay? So, this is given, okay? But what do we understand g of x? What do you understand? I have given you the formula, right? In the first video, if you have not gone, what is dividend? It is nothing but quotient into divisor plus remainder. This is given, right? I have given you the first. So we'll be making use of this, okay? So what is your dividend? It is x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus 2. Your quotient is x minus 2. Divisor is not given, so we will say we will take our divisor to be g of x, okay? Because that is what the question is asking us and the remainder is minus 2x plus 4. What I'll do is I'll take the remainder to the left hand side. So when that happens, okay, this is a plus sign here so it becomes minus, so minus 2x plus 4. So and you'll be left with x minus 2 of g of x. So remove the bracket, x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus 2, minus into minus becomes plus 2x, minus into plus becomes minus 4 equal to x minus 2 of g of x. Now make the necessary changes, okay? So this becomes x, x cubed minus 3x squared, we don't have anything to cancel, x plus 2x becomes plus 3x, 2 minus 4 becomes minus 2 equal to x minus 2 of g x. Therefore, we can write this as x cubed minus 3x squared Okay, plus 3x minus 2. Bring x minus 2 to the denominator, and that is this is how we will find our g of x. Clear? So it becomes very easy, right? How to find g of x? Now simply divide x minus 2 with x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 2. So what should you multiply x in order to get x cubed? x squared. So x into x squared becomes x cubed minus. 2 into x squared, 2x squared. So this becomes plus, cancelled, minus x squared plus 3x minus 2. So what should you multiply x with in order to get minus x squared? Obviously, minus x, so x into minus x, minus x squared, minus into minus, plus 2 into x, 2x. Okay? So this will cancel, so this becomes minus, so this becomes x minus 2. So finally, you should just cancel, you should multiply x minus 2 with this, so you'll be getting this, okay? Therefore, finally, g of x is going to be equal to x squared minus x plus 1. All right? This is the given. This is our g of x. So we'll end the video here. All right?